Hi, hi there. This is Knock. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just um lost my voice and it's coming back. But I want to do a quick tutorial on how to um edit your favorite back toppers. So when you click on the link to the Canva template, this is what you will get. You get um the toppers in different sizes. This is six and a half inches by six and a half inches. So when you fold it over the back it will come out to six and a half by three and a quarter and here's five by five four by four three by three and then i also have it where i add the extra <clears throat> box and the greeting so if you this is for christmas but of course you could change it for birthdays um thank you uh, tags and you change the fonts and stuff but they're all say merry christmas here but you can definitely change it and i also have for you i've done some for you already with the bonus um digital paper which are all christmas themes i mean this could be winter theme <clears throat> also and these are the ones that you're getting as a bonus so i'm gonna go up to the top and i'm just going to do one and once you know how to do this one you'll be able to do the rest okay so you could do several things at first i'm going to show you how to do it with the digital paper you just drag and drop it over now even for here you can drag this over here too and so it'll be the same or you could just change the color to maybe do the little color dropper and go maybe red so this will become red and from here you could do several things you can excuse me sorry I'm fixing my mic um you can add the certain elements like thank you so I just went to element search for thank you and <clears throat> come up with these and you could just pick one that you like let's say we like this one so it goes like this and from here you could actually change the font maybe black might be best or some other color that's just totally different maybe let's do white white is just no black would be the best one right here or you can add let's say a here the rectangle here right <clears throat> changes to white and move it back <clears throat> excuse me sorry we'll center it we're gonna center it on the card it's already centered <clears throat> like this this center middle and then like this center middle <clears throat> excuse me and then from here you can change it to red or blue with that will make it look better you see like this and you can also change the outline around the shape to be this so you can make it uh oh sorry that was me this is where you change the color <clears throat> make this a little smaller you don't need it so big right <clears throat> and then do another text you can just do this too and then from <clears throat> or whatever you want to say in the back of your toppers and then you have to re make it upside down <clears throat> hold on I'm getting there there you go over here I'm also probably going to put it in the a little bit in the center or not so much to this side and I'll put this box here like this white <clears throat> and maybe not so much spacing I did too much spacing and then make this a line the F and the T lined up so there you go and then I could also move this over a little bit so to and from and now I'm done with this okay and that's all there is to it and of course these you know by now if you watch my other videos you can just let me just double make duplicate you can just drag and drop pictures change this to a different color change this to match whatever background you have like this could be a, a gold right then from here you can also this could be a gold and then change the color of this <clears throat> maybe into a Let's say we let's say we do pink, uh, but a lighter pink. So I'm gonna have to go 
come back here and do the color drop like this <clears throat> and you can also add some other things to it like maybe if you want doesn't really match here but I'm gonna do this let's see this and let's see if we can remove background okay <clears throat> okay that was quick mm. and of course we have to make it go upside down because when you put this over the party favor bag right and then fold it this would be at the top of the favor bag and this would be the top and then you just put the balloons here and then from here maybe we can do a little outline of it okay that's nice adds a little bit I don't like the new um, the new shadow in canvas so much because it kind of moves too much of your stuff I feel there you go there and also you have to learn it's a learning curve you have to don't worry it'll come back I know that looks a little dangerously like oh no I have to start all over again but it's okay okay there you go and now you are done so now you did photos so you can add like photos of your child you can add <clears throat> photos of um, anything you whatever theme you have right and then you just you can do elements like balloons or presents or whatever your theme unicorn <clears throat> and here let's say we're gonna find stuff that are free <clears throat> these are cute right so let's duplicate this again but it could still keep this, still keep this. Change it to be unicorn. <clears throat> Very simple. Add it here. And then change your color background to whatever you think is good for you. And this, <clears throat> let's see. Uh huh. Let's go back for a minute to this and look at eye. I'm just no, this is from Pixabay. Pixabay. <clears throat> I'm just trying to see if they have another unicorn or something that matches this one. But I will just do this, change the color of it to match some of the color in this graphic we have here. Wowzers. <clears throat> and you can delete this and add a text if you like here you are one of a kind <clears throat> of course you could probably make it a lot nicer than how I'm doing it <clears throat> excuse me I really wanted to do a video I didn't want to list this without a video so I finally got my voice back or most of it I was like, okay, I am going to do this today. It's been like a week. <clears throat> All right, and now here we go. I love this color dropper, really. It just makes your, <clears throat> your, um, whatever you're doing matches, whatever theme that you're trying to get out of it. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Um. And now we could also find some other ring that it'd be good if it's the same type. That's the thing with um camera is that <clears throat> it's hard to get everything match. So like I would probably have to change it up a little bit or do this. And it's okay to have the same graphic on the front and the back. It's nothing crazy. Remember to do um, command and then drag if you don't want it to go into your frames <clears throat> okay you see just if you see that happening just press and you could even have it like that really but now I did that so I have to go back <clears throat> and there you go and even this could be um the bright red that you like the bright pink sorry <clears throat> And you could add other things to it. It's just to make it really fun. There's nothing that says it has to be. Remember when you have this and you accidentally do this, you just do Command Z and it'll move. Um, 
into the new location that you want it to be. Okay, now let's say for instance that um, you want to have the cut line for the the car the topper, which is the outline, so people can know what to cut. Because sometimes this this you know how to cut, but if you have something that's white or something really light color, like this gray maybe, or even lighter, it's hard to tell and you want to make it sure that your um, buyers or your readers know where the cut line would be. So if you go into position, I do have a, <clears throat> here, it's very, very faint, really, you can't see, but there's a square outline. So if you click on it and then drag it to the top, drag it to the top. Or you could have just gone here and go arrange to front. And if you click out, you see you see the little gray outline. I made it gray, but you can definitely make it black or whatever color you choose. So now it's definitely you can see it, right? Um, and that's that's how you find it under position, position, and then just search for the square box, and it should be highlighted for you. And this is the from and the two. You can't really tell because the pink is such, just really light. <clears throat> but let's make it like this color to match. And even this. Now this, you see, that's the reason why I have it at the bottom before originally is because now you can't drag your photos or images into it now because the top layer is the outline. So if you want to change the frame, change the photos or the graphics in the frames, you have to basically go arrange and then back, okay? And now if you go back, <clears throat> you see how I'm able to, to select the box, the frame. Um, I'll go back here and then um, drag and drag, see, like that, okay? That's the reason why it starts out without the outline around the topper. Um, but basically that is uh, it. Okay, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.